As 15 states across the country hold their presidential primaries today, some Boston University students discuss why they don't know or don't care about Super Tuesday. Ole Nagorson, a freshman at Boston University, talks about why he hasn't been keeping up with this year's presidential primaries. I haven't really been like paying full attention because I assume unless Trump or Biden die, mm -hmm. I think it's probably just going to be them again. Yeah. So, yeah. Samuel Stoddard, a visiting professor of political science at Boston University, says he believed the lack of choices for candidates contributes to students not caring as much about the primaries. So the fact that there are no choices on either side is certainly going to create a sense of helplessness or a sense of, of my vote doesn't matter in younger voters. Lippy Hegday, a junior at Boston University, says in the past she didn't feel like her vote mattered. I feel like we're told as citizens like voting is your power to make a change and I don't feel like um, in the past years when I have voted that it's actually made the change that I was hoping to make. Amber Vio, a visiting professor of political science at Boston University, says she believes students feel disillusioned because of the candidates in this election. Um, in this election particularly, I think a lot of younger people feel like, you know, we've got two 80 year olds running for office, how are they going to represent me? And so there's a, there's I think a, a detachment and a disenchantment. They feel like a political system is going to affect them, but not represent them. In previous state primaries, such as the one in New Hampshire's, youth voter turnout results were similar to those in 2020. Political analysts await Super Tuesday's results to see if that trend is true across the country. Reporting for BUTV, this is Aditya Iyer signing off.